Okay, good evening everybody and welcome back here to Dhaka. I just arrived here from Silet and already I'm leaving. I'm heading south finally, alhamdulillah. I'm heading to Cox's Bazaar on the overnight sleeper bus. I'm heading with Green Line. I'll put the location of the ticket booth down in the description box. Super easy to find. And the bus is here. Let's go. Okay, let's check it out. A2, A3. Whoa. Look at this, it's like a house. I don't know which room it is. <laughs> okay, so this is the room. There's two people here. We booked two tickets together. So I'm just sat with Emma, uh, AC, speaker. I think there's outlet somewhere. Maybe there's not, if I don't see any. You put your shoes here, you have blankets. It's pretty comfortable. The trip is roughly about seven or eight hours and it's 10.50 now. So let's see how it goes. See you in, where am I going? Cox's Bazaar. <laughs> Just lay down. This is actually really good for a sleeper bus. My whole body fits laying down. And as you guys know, I have about six foot long legs. So, so far, so good. Let's see how the journey is. Okay, you guys, nine and a half hours later, just arrived here to Cox Bazaar. It's about 8 10 in the morning. I get my bags last night during my sleep. I was attacked by two mosquitoes. As you can see, my face is very swollen. It's the first time that's happened. So, hopefully, in a few hours, this will go down. But it screws how I look in this video. It's, <laughs> it's not good. Okay, so we just arrived here to beautiful Cox Bazaar in the south of Bangladesh. Rented a bike, finally, alhamdulillah. I tried to get one in Silet, but couldn't. So, for the next two days, the plan will be to drive south across the world's longest beach. I booked a really cool place uh, in the middle of the jungle tonight. And so far the plan today would be to get the bike done. It's about $10 per day, which is amazing. The bike. And the bike is just here. And we're gonna stop along the way at some waterfalls, the beaches, there's maybe paragliding. There's so much to do here in the area. So it's gonna be a good day. Let's go. <laughs> and look who just joined me all the way from Scotland. All the way from Scotland. This is Emma. We've traveled together in Afghanistan, in Iraq, yeah, Iraq, and now Bangladesh, so three countries. And Japan. Right? And Japan, and yeah. Japan. This is country number four. And she flew over a couple of days ago and we headed straight south from Dhaka, uh, not last night, not before, on a pretty rough overnight bus route. Yes, I have a video coming up from that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. Um, but alhamdulillah, we made it and today the adventure is going to get good, so let's go. <laughs> it just filled up the entire tank. It was five liters and it's 655, which is about six dollars for the full tank. Okay, guys, we are trying to find our way down to the beach. Let's see. Trying to find some boats. The traffic so far has been really good. The roads are nice. Some drivers back in the main town, they were really crazy, but as you can see here, the roads are so much nicer. Proper beach town vibes here, and I love it. Where's Jay going? Where are you going, Jay? <laughs> I thought that was the beach direction, but it's just quite an error. No way to get down. Okay, just stopped at the beach. I was trying to go down here, but there was no way to drop down. We can get there from a walk, but it's pretty far, so hopefully we'll see some places just here. But finally, I see the beach. Horses down here, there's like a, a four by four Jeep. Not Jeep, quad bike. Beautiful. everywhere. Oh, look at this road. Oh, look at 
It just parked up on the side of the highway just here. We're gonna head just down here to the beach. You can only walk though, so hopefully the bike will be safe here. And let's walk down to see the beach for the first time. Coconuts just here, take a look. Hi. <laughs> Arrived. They have things here just on the desk. You can do parasailing. Uh, whoa, banana boat ride, jet skis, donut speed boat ride, flying fishing ride. Wow, that looks fun. Wow, nice. And this is just as you walk in. Parasailing, is, it sounds good. Should we do it, guys? Parasailing? Beautiful baby calf, just there. So they have parasailing and so many different water activities here. I was thinking about doing it right now, but the weather is very hazy. So I don't think I will see that much. So I think we will carry on driving further south, check out the other places. There's the very famous fishing boats here, just at the side of the water and stop for some lunch and then head to the incredible place where we're staying tonight. And so cute. Look at these babies. so tiny and here is one of the iconic Bangladeshi fishing boats wow look at the design amazing beautiful stretch of water this is actually the world's longest beach over 120 kilometers long so we came from all the way down there and what we will do is go all the way down there into the haze see one of the fishing boats just here okay just come down to the beach just a little bit further on they have coconuts they even have horses and gonna grab a quick chai to fuel up for the rest of the journey beautiful beautiful beaches i wanted to take your horse but they're really small hi bro they're half my height so i don't think i will don't want to hurt them. They're so beautiful. Wow, guys. So the guys just pointed out that there's, there's dolphins in the horizon. down to the main area of Marine Drive which is just further south of the main city of Port Bazaar. So many stalls, people selling tea, nuts, fish and everything else so, and, and coconuts to see This is where all most of the people are in, in this town so I hope you can meet some good locals, have some chai, chat and enjoy the sunset which is just ahead of us. So just found all of these the same as the ones in our fruit baskets back at the, um, the hut and it's actually tamarind i didn't know that amazing so many different stools here going for miles surrounded by beautiful palm trees righty quick tea stop i love this place already the vibes is like a small surfer town 
which is my favorite. Biking around is so nice. Incredible welcome so far by the locals, of course, as always here in Bangladesh. I'm loving driving around the streets. Drivers are a little crazy, but so far it's okay. And if you're coming to Bangladesh, this has to be a place you go to. It's so much more peaceful than Dhaka and highly recommend. Oh, it's good. Super, super sweet and very milky. Ah, so many spices. So you can see all these people queuing behind me. There's actually a water waterfall behind here and like an amazing hiking path which you can go up. Maybe I will do this, if not I will watch sunset at the beach. This is a great idea though, maybe I'll check it out another time. So many people there. Okay, we're heading now over the small little bridge to hopefully, inshallah, the beach. Right, finally making it onto the beach. Paragliders. Wow, it's so beautiful. I really want to do this. So calm down here. Wow. So I've just stopped inside here. The Mermaid Cafe, I think it's in uh, the same company as the, uh, the lodge we're staying at. Brother, is this the same as we are staying Mermaid Eco Lodge? Yeah, it's, it's the same. Ah, yeah, oh, exactly. beautiful. Same the same. Wow, look at this view. Wow.